Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are the two urban girls. So uh, we so excited to be back. We received some comments from some people, some subscribers asking about the ACT and the SAT. So the this segment is actually part two of the college journey. So before we get started, you want to go back and watch the others, part one and the other videos before you get into this one. Mm -hmm. And then go ahead and click like, share, and subscribe. And click that bell. Ding, ding. Today we're going to talk about the ACT and the SAT. All the information on this college journey. And we're going to jump right in and go ahead and get started. Okay. All right. So the SAT is have a lot of math formulas on it. So if you're good at math, this test is good for you to take. They have about 154 questions on there. Um, the cost for this is around $54, uh, maybe a little bit more. Um, they have the essay mandatory, 25 minutes. So, you know, be aware of that. They give you more time per question. On this SAT exam, they have a lot of tricky questions. They have nine short sections plus an essay, no geometry, no science section, vocabulary questions they do have. They have a guessing penalty as well. They have also have critical thinking on them, problem solving skills, and that's about it for that section for SAT. But the scores for them is around 600 to 1600. For the writing is 800. Math is 800. Reading is 40. Writing language is 40. Uh, for the math solving problem is 40. And that's what you, that's like the highest you can get. But you know, try to get, try to get as high as you can. It's like 900. But you don't want to be average. You want to try to get as high as you can. So that determines how much scholarship money that you receive. The next score is uh, 1100 to 13. That's good. And again, it also determines how much money you get. So you want to try to get the highest score as you can. And for the next one, it's 1301 to 1600. And that's excellent. And with that score, you're, you will get a lot of money for that. Okay. So the ACT is more science driven. It has no math formula. It has about 215 questions. The cost is about $56. It does have an essay option and it's about 30 minutes. It is less time per question on the ACT. It's more straightforward. It has four sections plus an essay and no experimental section. It has science, but no vocabulary and no guessing penalty versus the SAT. Mm -hmm. And the ACT is content-based and the scores range from 13 to 36. An average score is about 20 to 23. Mm -hmm. A good score is 24 to 27. An excellent score is between 28 and 36 for the ACT. So if you can think back how many points do you think they give on the SAT for making sure your name on it? That's about 100 points. Okay, so when you want to make sure they put their name on it, believe it or not, a lot of people forget to put their name on, on the exam. exam. <laughs> they really do. So with all that being said, now you have the information on the ACT and the SAT. How can they pay for this if you don't have the money? First, you can go to your counselor. Um, they will give you a voucher, even if it's just one, in order for you to pay for ACT or the SAT. So definitely go talk to your counselor, you know, to get that information. You can also get your college applications waived as well. Even if it's one, one is also good. Mm -hmm. So just remember, Go talk to your counselor. Okay. First thing you want to do, you want to make sure that you sign up for the college board. You want to do the practice exams. You want to do the prep courses. Again, go talk to your counselor. They can sign you up to, to take that six-week course 
to prep you for your SAT or the ACT. Uh, and I was thinking about when you said the prep courses and the prep time, that is very important. It kind of gets you used to how the questions are going to be asked. That mm -hmm. way you won't be surprised when you get on an exam because it's, it's not going to be something that you are accustomed to. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a little bit different how, the, how it's worded, how the questions are structured. So you want to make sure that you start early and go ahead and sign up for those prep courses. Mm -hmm. More money you get the more money you get so you want to make sure that you do well on these exams so what are some of the scholarships i know that's going to be in another segment but what are some of the scholarships that people can get for making sure they do good on these exams and they um, so the first scholarship that you can try to work on is, is at your school you know they might not be a lot but it's something that's better than nothing it's your band um they have scholarships for left hand sports valedictorian art and drama and they might have others you know but again you can ask and what you do is you fill it out right there and there and that's you can that's how you can get money you gotta know, get some money trying to get some money mm -hmm. so if you can think back when you were taking your act and sat what are some key points that you would give them that morning before or that day the night before the exam so you bring a pencil calculator um, try to get some sleep, try to eat a healthy breakfast, try to study as much as you can. Try, don't try to do it the night before because sometimes you, you, you try to cram it in and then as soon as you get to the test, your brain goes blank. Study long, study wrong. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is some good information. Um, this was very, very good. Thank you so much for sharing. I know there's more. I'm excited to hear about these scholarships because from what I am understanding they there is a long list of scholarships that are available. Absolutely. So I'm excited about those. So until next time, like, share, subscribe, and click that bell. Ding, ding. We are here to help you. The time is drawing near. It is the SAT and ACT starts in March. So you want to make sure mm -hmm. you jump on it now. So if we know, you, you know. know. All right, until next time, we are the two Irving girls. girls. Yay.